First of all, uh, at the outset, I wish to thank the media and the press calling us in this setup and listening from us. Thankful to you. I have an experience with Beamer from the last two years since I know Chitwan, but I knew Beamer earlier than her. This is my own personal thing. My younger brother suffered silent heart attacks three times, not diagnosed. He lives near to Delhi, very active, very energetic man. Finally, when he was shifted, his life was saved. His son, who works at International Scenario, he had gone to Germany. From there, he brought Beamer for him. It's not over-exaggerating the slide which I showed there in the presentation. Where has his heart developed great number of collaterals? Now, he's free, he's moving around, he goes for a long, good walk. He's able to do his job well. Second thing I wish to say about it, Beamer should become a main theme with the main theme of treatment in the country. It is going to add great value to the existing system of medical practice. Ultimately, it is the patient's right to become all right. Doctor and our medical community need to serve and save him. Since I come from armed forces, I used to operate right at the firing zone in the battlefield. My dictum was very clear, to save life and limb. Do anything and everything for the soldier. That's what we used to do. The bullets are flying over you, the shells are flying over you, but you are operating in that scenario. With that aim, life and limb is paramount importance. Here also in civilized life, I always consider Beamer should be used in the medical practice. It's a new system which is getting entry into our country. It might change a system totally. I'm not against if we stop this medication system. No, no way. Together we should use it. The third very pertinent point, a lot of people had asked me, a bypass has been done. I've got metallic stitches in my breastbone. I've got stent. She also talked about a lot of things on metallic things implanted in your body. Don't get scared of it. I have used it for more than two months. In 71 war, I was wounded. I've got a gunshot in my right thigh and a left thigh. The right thigh, that sharpnel is lodged in my femoral artery. That time doctors told, if you try and remove, you might lose your leg. I'm still holding it. I used Beamer, nothing happened. No problem. So that fear should go away from the mind. And if we use Beamer, one is in a sickness, second thing in a healthy body. It's going to magnify the body in a major way. The quality of life will change. A person can do his activities of daily life profoundly without any limitations. So that is the positive responses from the Beamer. I've been practicing uh post-graduate medicine for the last 30 years, post-MD, I passed in 1990. <clears throat> Over the last 30 years of my clinical practice, I became more and more aware of the limitations of modern medicine, especially chronic disorders like peripheral vascular disease, senile dementias, <laughs> anginas. We have heart patients who come with angina, the stress test is positive, for example. You send them, send them for an angiography, you find out there is what they call as slow flow disease. And what is the treatment given? Aspirin and clopidogrel, right? <clears throat> so in this way, found, I found that all these chronic disorders were very debilitating. And there was a need to open up the horizons to find newer avenues and paradigms for treatment. And therefore, my interest <clears throat> has been always very active in the field of integrated medicine. And therefore, I have been studying myself various books on my own uh, initiative to incorporate Ayurveda, incorporate naturopathy and pranayama exercise into my practice as well. My, the spark of additional enthusiasm came up when I met Mrs. Chitwan uh, just a few months back who came to our hospital to promote uh, the value of this wonderful machine called the Beamer. And immediately the, the buzzword which stuck to my mind was microcirculation. And I've attended about 100 conferences so far in my life, but I probably never even hear the word microcirculation any of them except just in the passing. Because most conferences are held which are sponsored by pharma companies I mean, there's no drug to offer to the, to the doctors, the pharma companies don't show any interest in those particular field. So it, was, it is a fact that microcirculation being the most crucial factor 
in the overall functioning of any tissue, whether it is brain or heart or kidney or lungs, whatever it may be, right? It is such an important, crucial part of the health of every tissue, and yet you don't cater to that because no drug can reach that, and therefore you are landed up with so many problems of chronic condition. And therefore, just last week I was inspired to have uh, started a department in my own hospital uh, where I belong. Uh, we started a department called the Department of Integrated Medicine. And my colleagues and other people who attended were so excited about the whole department and more so about the Beamer machine. And I can see that in the future, uh, it's going to be something which I will be using more frequently, not only for myself, for my loved ones, and also for the hundreds of patients which I see every day. So I see a great sense of promise. Uh, and, I, and I really suggest that doctors, uh, you know, as become more and more super specialist, we, we know more and more of less and less. <clears throat> so that's the whole problem. So we are becoming like the blind, blind man who's, you know, the, the elephant was there and everyone is blinded and they're, they're touching different parts of the elephant and say elephant's trunk is like a rope, his leg is like a pillar, but they're not seeing the whole elephant, right? So I think we need to become unfold, you know, open our blindfolds and see the whole elephant and see the whole body, not just the eye or the kidney or the lungs or the nails or the hair. You look at the whole body, the whole body is being governed by circulation. And there you are. The answer is you use a boomer machine and you can cater to all the organs at one time. Just in one stroke, you can just deal with every organ and make it healthy and viable and functional. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a great thing which, uh, which should be more and more used in uh, our hospitals. And I think the future is going to be very bright for this device. Thank you.